Manos. So, uh, we need to go to Yorktown Avenue. You got it. Pick your face up. It's something called surgery. Then tough. Get some work done on your funky face. Kiki, it's Nico. Maybe call me after six. I'll be dreaming about you. I'm sorry for waking you, Kiki. Later on. Forgive me. Quick change of plan. Customer's always right. Problem with these guys that can't even think straight. Yeah, he's always there. He is. Welcome to the war council, my boy. Gentlemen. What's going on? Nothing. Discussing pest control. Well, I've given you my advice, Peg. You do what you think is best. I agree. Finally. I mean, I don't agree with what he says. I agree that you know best. Excuse me? Relax. I didn't mean nothing by it. Look, either we make the right call or we all end up in prison anyway. Well, your crap ain't gonna do me no favors. Be careful. See you later. Boss, gentlemen. You're only an associate, Phil. Remember that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, tough Boss, guy. I gotta tell you this. He's not straight. Right before I came in here, I saw him talking to Angie again. You better leave. Uh, I need to speak to Nico. Sure, boss. But, uh, think about what I said. I will. You know? Trust me on that. We got real problems. Police are all over us. Maybe you heard, I got served papers today. Phil yesterday. We got a couple of boys in jail. I think they might squeal. Somebody's talking. Wants us out of the picture. Maybe John Gravelli. Or them Ancelotti's. Somebody got to my people. So what are you going to do about it? I don't know. I gotta shut someone up and show people I mean business. I've known Phil a long time. He's straight, more or less. I know him and Angie are friends, but that don't worry me too much. Hmm. Maybe he's too straight. Then there's Ray. Hmm. I don't know. I don't trust him. But he's a good earner. I know he's got his eye on the big prize. But he's no dummy. Him and Phil hate each other. I gotta think about it. Okay. I'll give you a call. Whoever I say to go see, go see him. And lost shut him up! Lovers, lost in each other's If that's your decision, Mr. Pegorino, it's done. Calculating groups, harmony, melody, or please make a U-turn when you wear souls. Please proceed to highlight the route. In 200 yards, turn right. In 100 yards, turn left. Turn right. In 400 yards, turn left. I see his car. He should be heading over to a chop shop in Boabo. Don't get too comfortable with him, Nico. Like every rat, he's a survivor. He's got good instincts. He has a bad feeling about you in particular. He bought some protection and he ain't gonna hang around and wait for you know what to happen. Then again, I'll get his chump muscle and stop for gas on the way. Might create a good opportunity for you.
Turn left. Bing bong. In 400 yards. Turn right. Please make a U-turn where safe. Please proceed to highlighted route. The meeting went to plan, Mr. Begorino. Plain and half's a tough job, Bellic. I don't got much left in mind, it's so clean. I'll talk to you soon. Let's go, my mysterious European. Oh, it's so nice to be driven around in a car you're used to, don't you think? Your chest looks really cut in what you're wearing. Your ass is giving mine a run for its money in those pants. God, are those shoes fashionable back in Europe? You must be so behind the Liberty City trends. It's not exactly going to be a gastronomic roller coaster, though, is it? This Liberty City, motherfucker. You wanna ride? Let's ride through Liberty City. The evil genius in Liberty City. The food tasted of nothing. Did you notice that? Uh huh. By the way, how is the movie coming along? Ah, oh, it fell through. But to be honest, cinema is dead. I mean, it's so old-fashioned these days, with all the internet and videos and stuff, and my blog, and the sites like electrictit.com and stuff. Who wants a movie? Did the funding fall through? Well, that's not the point. I mean, yep, narrative is dead. It's done. It's all about living. Oh, what would you know about this stuff? Not much. You're living it, Nico. You're an experience. You're not an intellectual. I mean, you don't care. You live. You don't think. And that's beautiful. I never think. I know. Your power, your masculinity, your freedom. In some ways, you're my muse. Thanks. But mostly I'm my own muse. <laughs> I'm going to be an important person. I think I'll change the world. Like Stalin? Yeah. I mean, something like that. Fuck around, nigga. You'll be swallowing. How about I come into your place? Come inside then. Okay then. Worse to me, Nico. You've caught me in the right mood. Oh, I love being naughty. Do your worst to me, Nico. You've caught me in the right mood. Did she learn? That? Where you want to go? Algonquin Dukes Expressway, please. On our way. Uh, don't play with the window. For their penises to stick out and they pound each other's high knees, making weird ass animal noises. Now, do you hear what public television it's is? It's Nico. You want to go out on a date with me? Just when I'm starting to get over you, you call again. This hurts me so much. But I've been thinking about you all day, Nico. Pick me up in the next hour. I look forward to it. Today on the show, we're going to talk about why America is Excuse me. America Can we change where we are going? Okay. Whatever, man. And hit the phone running. lines. Thanks. You are the people that make the show. All I do is make the money and spend it on Facebook. Hey, Nico.
Hey, sweetie. Where'd you park your car? Stop! Uh, haven't you got a car? If you want new shoes, Nico, I can buy them. Don't spend your own money. Oh, they're invisible. Sorry, but I need this. Help yourself, motherfucker! What's going on? So, where to? So, uh, take me to Tulsa Street, please. Okay, then. Here we go. It's Pacemaker, the program that puts the heart back into the health industry. Here's your host, Ryan Get a move on! It's David and Goliath, but we're all David when it comes to fighting. It's our nuts Here we in the are, sun. then. For Thank you very much. Years, I'd really like to experience your culture with you, Nico. Let's go. for juggling with Magician in Hove Beach, Incredible Kleinman! Yes! Hello! I am magic! I can make love like a unicorn, or fly on a carpet like an ape! You see, lots of people have dreams, but they don't do anything about them. Or if they do, they find that being treated like a toilet is not as fun as it sounds. Just ask my assistant. <laughs> yes, that's happened to me before. You see, I have cheated death my whole life. I have stared death in the eyes and licked my lips. If you don't try, you can't fail. So, tonight, I will crawl into this box and cheat death! I am Kleinman, magician! Death, prepare to weep! Laurel, lock me in and do your worst! I am not afraid! Kids, do not try this at home. Wow! It's terrible! 
evil spell of burden person. your culture, Nico. Thank you for sharing it with me. I'm gonna warn you, Nico, I'm not in the best of moods. What's wrong? Tremaine's appeal just got rejected. Tremaine the client? Client, ex, ex, client, lover, friend, spiritual guru. The line is so blurry. I'm too close to be able to tell what he is. What were you appealing? A triple homicide conviction. Like Dorian's? Yeah, only Tremaine was completely innocent. There's no way he killed those guys. He's such a streaming on This is it. Thanks for luck. I'm here to see Mr. Gavelli. I was sent by a mutual friend. Come on. Uh, someone here to see you. Here. Oh, so you're the one who's getting involved with that nonsense for my dear friend James Pegorino. I don't know what Spare you're- Spare me, please. I'm an old man. I ain't got much time left. Our mutual friend told me everything. Thank you. It made me <laughs> <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> people are so damn vain. Some people? <clears throat> All people. Even you, even me, an old man facing the end. And I still care. Care how I look. Care that when I shit myself, the pretty nurse has to clean it up. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, well, uh, <sighs> you know. And I care about my legacy. I've worked hard for this, this line of work. Now some Russian assholes think they can march in and take control of rackets my family has run for 50 years. <laughs> You mean 50 years of you bleeding the city dry might finally come to an end? <laughs> I, I know it's a terrible <laughs> tragedy. <laughs> but if it wasn't me, it would just be someone else. So it might as well be me. Yes. Let me tell you, that faggot friend of yours, Bernie Crane, his boyfriend, he's being blackmailed by them damn Russians. They want him to put certain contracts up for tender. Windows, bus lines, cleaning, ones we control. These Russian fucking bastards are trying to finish us. What do you want me to do about it? I want you to work with me. In exchange for what? The police have a file on you an inch thick. In exchange for that. In exchange for that guy you've been asking about being brought here from wherever it is he's hiding, Switzerland or some shit. Okay, good. What do you want me to do? A good friend of mine is coming into town to give a speech on the new threat to Liberty City. Russian organized crime. I got a feeling some people ain't gonna want that speech to happen. Maybe the guy you love, this Dmitry Raskolov, has an interest in keeping this story out of the press. Make sure our boy gets to City Hall. <coughs> He's coming in from upstate. He'll be at Grand Eastern Terminal on Bismarck. <laughs> Thank you.
Smell, I just laid some gas in here. You guys waiting for me? Nico Bellic, right? Yeah, that's me. Stay in convoy with us all the way to City Hall. All right? Sure. John, how are you? Of course. Well, I'm coming to see you as soon as I've delivered the speech. Don't say that, John. You'll be feeling like a teenager again in no time. Those are the wonders of modern medicine. Oh, I'm going to bring up everything we discuss. When I'm done at the podium, Mayor Ochoa is going to be dedicating half his annual budget to cleaning this problem up. <laughs> he doesn't want to start getting reckless with the lives of Liberty City voters. No, John, if it's your problem, it's my problem as well. Take a deep breath, John. Driver, why is this road closed? We're not on a sightseeing tour. Get back to the convo. Another roadblock? This definitely wasn't mentioned on the traffic report. I'm gonna go and move the barriers. Come on, Mr. Jefferson. Let's get out of here. Get us to the Civic Citadel. That was a mistake they didn't want to make. If you're gonna try to take out a pilot, more Russians wanting to kill you. How about that? American gangsters like John Gravelli understand the way life works. They get the limits of their power. In Europe, the politicians are as crooked as a gangster. They don't understand that things are different here. Yeah, sure. You are as clean as the driven snow. I'll explain that important cultural difference to one of these Russian gangsters if our paths cross. you are, but you got me here. Goes to show, some immigrants have the best interest of the country in their hearts. I'll tell John you did well.
Mr. Grovelli. I took that friend of yours to City Hall. He should be giving a speech any minute. Yeah, yeah, good. Heard you had some trouble along the way. You can always rely on those Russians. Try something. How are we supposed to compete with these immigrant criminals when they want it so bad? You're working with me, aren't you, Mr. Gravelli? See you later. Knows this city better than me. Good to see you. You too. How are you, Mr. Gravelli? Good, good. I was just speaking to our mutual friend about you. He said how efficient you were. I like that. Then he mentioned something about a Darko Brevich. What? He did? Yeah. He's located the guy. It seems he wasn't in Switzerland at all, but in Bucharest. He'll be here soon. Good, good. And it seems your Russian friends are getting the message. Some of them. Oh, okay, so... I think it's our turn to do a favor for that mutual friend of ours. Seems some Korean has come into the country and... and is selling money at a discount. You don't need me to tell you that it's all fugazi. Faker than a pair of vinewood tits. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Listen, I need you to deal with this. Eliminate the guy. What he's doing is no good for the economy and no good for patriots like you and me. <laughs> so who is he? His name is Kim Young Guk. He'll be very well protected. He eats at Mr. Fook. Fuck. <laughs> Mr. Gravelli, are you all right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm fine. Wait, 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 wait. What was I saying? Kim Young Gook, he eats at. Yeah, right. Right, right. He, he eats at a restaurant called Mr. Fook's Rice Box. Yeah, in Alderney City. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Shit, man, I can't. I'm already on my way to a Korean place. Some other time, okay? Where is Kim? He's upstairs, speaking with the manager. They don't want to see nobody, though. Kim and I are old friends. Kim got a lot of money. He don't need no friends. Get lost! Run away, motherfucker! Why you still can?
guys. Look around. You're fucked now, asshole. Here's a. You must... I'll rip your fucking cars out. Where is Kim? If you play stupid, you're not going to live very long. Where's Kim? Uh, he heard you come. He ran out back to the kitchen. He's going to die. Don't fuck with me! He's passed his last false bill, Mr. Gravelli. Well done, my boy. This is gonna be a fruitful partnership for us both. <laughs> knows this city better than me. It's all about problems and solutions. Ah, yeah. Nico! Of course, you guys already know each other. Nico, good to see you. Interesting friendships you both keep. Yeah, very interesting. The mayor will be here in a minute, and I have two senators dropping by later. Everyone wants to pay homage to a dying legend. Everyone wants the glamour of a bygone age. Everyone. Now that you hear what I said. Yeah, I heard what you said. Nico, our friend here, is telling me that the Ancelotti's are in league with the Russians. Ancelotti's? I know these guys 73 years. In 1972, I should have killed his uncle, but I spared him. And this is how he repays me? Unbelievable. And now he's dealing drugs with Ivan the goddamn terrible. <laughs> So what we're saying is, this is a matter of security, national. Normally, I don't care about cocaine. Keeps controllable people in power, but this is no good. All right, what's my role in this? The distribution network is a fleet of vans parked at a grocery warehouse in Alderney City. The product is packed into the frames of the vans, ready to be moved all over the country. Destroy everything, whatever it takes. And for me? For you. I've got a real gift for you. Get this done, then we'll talk. <laughs> go, 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 Slingers! I'm getting too it's old been a for long this day. shit.
I got a ticket for not wearing a helmet. Don't push me, night. you mother. You gotta floss if you're balling. You stay talking. Productive if I could smoke at my desk. You're not wrong. Hey, I got shit to do. Let's go. Shock!
I have put your competitors out of business. You've given a dying man a few minutes of happiness, Nico. I'm pleased to be helping you out with this thing you need. We'll speak again when Darko Brevich is in the country. No more jobs? Is that it? Am I out? You're out. You've done good things for us, and we are grateful. That said, I've given you a lot of protection. From here in, you're alone. Goodbye. You look like trouble to me. Are you trouble? Roman, they brought Darko Brevich into the country for me. This is almost over. I'm going to finish it. Nico, you can't do this alone. I'm coming with you. Come collect me from Firefly Island. All right. Wait there for me. So we need to go to Crockett Avenue. The kids. Here we go. Tip, please. They are bringing him to the cargo bay at Francis International. I do not want to be late after I've waited so long. Two Algonquin Dukes Expressway, please. Hey, okay, yes, no problem. What you've been waiting for for so long. I hope you will not be disappointed. Disappointment is not a consideration. I have not been the same man since the day that Darko betrayed us, since I saw those things. You lost a lot of friends that day, Nico. We both did. In some way, our friends from the village were lucky. I lost myself that day too. Everything that was good and innocent in me died along with them. If I could live those hours again, I think I would have preferred to be buried in the pit along with everyone else. This is all that is left of me. What am I good at, Roman? What is my trade? I deal in that. Because that is all that is open to me. I will tell you what you are good at, Nico. You are a good cousin and a good friend. You still have integrity. No matter what you say, there is humanity in you. You still have the power to be good. It's important that you believe that. Maybe I will start to believe it when Darko is dead. That might give me some perspective. This killing must stop sometime, Nico. Once this is done, then you must begin to forgive. Think about your future instead of the horrible things that have happened to you. To us! To all of us! In the past! After this is done, then we can talk about forgiveness and redemption. Now is not the time for such conversation. What is wrong with this place? God, you people are... Whatever. You know, there may be a lot of freaks in Liberty City, but the... This is it. This is where it all ends. Uh, uh. 
You remember me? Pusime, Nepoznayet. I don't know you. Yes, you do. I'm the one who survived. Nego. Hello. Reci mi zašto. Zašto? Zato što smo bili prijatelji. Svi smo odrasli za jedno. Mitar, Dragan, Goran, Mio. Mogu da nastavim. Svio, ha? We were friends, but I am not a friend. Friends dead. Goran and his guys killed. My fucking neighbors. Because of what? Because of shit. Lies. Fucking lies. So that makes it okay to stab your friends in the back? When everything you believe is shown to be shit, you make strange choices. Fuck yes. you! Strange choices? How much? <laughs> A thousand. <laughs> you killed my friends for one thousand dollars. How much do you charge to kill someone? You ruined me, you fuck! I needed the money. I had problems. You're a fucking junkie! Kill me, Dan! You fucking hypocrite. Just me. You'll be doing me a favor! Ah! Nico. Come on, let's go. Let him suffer, he, he knows what he did. He doesn't look like he enjoys life too much. Come on. Come on, Nico. It's time to go. Where am I? What is this place? You say I ruined you? You were always a killer. I just helped you see that. Will you take me over to Bruce's house? Okay, we're going to Mohanet Avenue. Hey, okay, no problem. You make fun of me and your name is Lazar? I'm turning this shit off. I can't take listening to those annoying ads and DJs right now. You did the right thing, Nico. It is not often that a man can be sure of that, but you definitely did the right thing. Be proud of yourself. Let's have a fucking party. Break out the champagne. I let the diseased, traitorous junkie live after hunting him for over a decade. Shit! Someone hand me the keys to the fucking city! There's no need to take that tone, cousin. I'm sorry if my tone offends you, Roman. But this has been a very difficult moment for me. It took every fiber of my being, pulling in the same direction not to kill Darko, to not get revenge for all those lives he took away. What made you spare him, Nico? I don't know. I wanted it for so long, he would just be dead. Like everyone else from our village. I was the one that survived the first attack. <laughs> Living is not easy. No. I would live to killing Darko as well. But then when I looked at him, I realized that nothing would change if I killed him. 
The revenge would not somehow shut the book on what I have seen. Only those who die get closure. I wait for yoga. Living do not. So you keep living. And you try to have a happy life. You, you try to move on. I try to. Yes. Okay, friend, here we are. Here we are. Do you want to come in and hang with Brucey? No. I need to be alone. Thank you for being with me, cousin. Do not mention it. Call me, Nico. The wedding is soon. Florian, I thought I should let you know. I found Darko. The guilt has destroyed him. I don't know. Somehow, it was better to walk away. You know what? I'm really proud of you, Nico Bellic. After what we've had to live with these last 12 or 13 years, I know how much it hurt you. And you've walked away. I know this must be hard for you, but you won, Nico. You really did. We've got to celebrate. You're free now. Maybe a spa day? Sure, whatever. I'll speak to you soon, Bernie. for me. Nico, the shit has gone down. I need to see you. Come to the club in Tudor. All right, Mr. Pegorino. I'll see you there. Excuse me. Can we change where we are going? Tinderbox Avenue, drive. Hey, the customer's always right. Here we are, man. End of the line. Thank you very much. Good to see you. And you? How are you? Uh-uh. 
fucking terrible. We got legal problems, all kinds of crap. You know how things have gone. I've heard some things. You get close to your dream, then something holds you back. No. Well, commission or no commission, I ain't gonna starve. People don't want me around, they don't have to have me. But I know how to earn. I need a favor. Here we go. Fuck you. I looked out for you, and I'll pay good, real good. But I need you to do something. I need you to collect that H. I got some Russians who have a buyer. Russians? Yeah. Dmitry Raskolov. Mo, we've got the history. I know. But this is real. I need you. Real? What the fuck is real? Real because it's you? Real because it's my last chance. Then good luck. No. I need you to get that H. I need the money. I looked out for you. You know, people want to whack you. I said no. Now I need you. And I'll pay a lot of money. Listen, Mr. Pegorino. I already told you. I got no, history. No! You listen, you dumb immigrant fuck! I ain't asking you! I'm you telling you, do this! Get over your principles. These guys don't hold grudges. With an incredible remix. Do it or you and me are gonna have a problem! Up next. Look, Alex Goldfield, Phil will look after you. You won't even have to deal with the fucking Russians. He's waiting for you, down in Tudor. All right. I knew I could count on you. Hey, how about that drink? Roman, I have a problem. You've got a problem, Nico. I'm about to get married. I'm about to commit to one woman for the rest of my life. This is serious, Roman. I have been asked to work for Dmitry Reskolov mm -hmm. again. There could be a lot of money in it. I heard you two had resolved your differences. He's on some boat in East Hook, right? What, you knew about this? He's on a boat in East Hook? Yeah, I, I heard you had forgiven him and we're working together. You're doing this deal, right? Now that I know where Dmitry is, I might just go there and take him out instead. Have you forgotten that he burned down your apartment and business? That he arranged your kidnapping? Now I have a better apartment, and I'll have an even better one if you work with him again! Promise me you won't do anything hasty, cousin. I have to think about it. Speak to you later. So, we're going life. to Mahesh Avenue, got it? Here. As soon as Sashays I finish, I'm going home to blow some heads and beat up the coochie. And the next thing you know, the doctor's prescribing heavy sedatives for every splinter or rash. And hey, Kate. I have a decision to make. And I don't know who to talk to about it. What's your choice, Nico? There is a man who betrayed me in the past. I am being asked to work with him. It could be very profitable, but... It would mean going back on an oath I swore to myself. You shouldn't work with him, Nico. You don't need money. What is it going to change about your life? I don't know. It'll make things easier for me and for Roman. I'm not going to respect you if you compromise what you believe in for money, Nico. Goodbye. Let's stop blaming the HMOs because you can't see a doctor. Don't blame profits or Nixon Quick change of plan. We're going to Mohanet Avenue. Don't blame Whatever, dude. Me because Peter's you're running. a loser. Not my fault, buddy. And the last thing we need on Earth is socialized medicine. Jeesh. Can you imagine the chaos if everyone was able to see a doctor and didn't have to fill out reams of paperwork before they were denied a life-saving surgery because... I can't get you any closer than this. stupid...
Запакуйте весь хэроин. Мы сегодня ночью посылаем. Enjoying yourself! Where are you gonna go, huh? I'm gonna shut this shit up forever! This one is for the old country!
Dimitri, I don't think I'll be doing this deal with you. We have other business to finish. Nico, it's been a long time. I thought your time in America might have calmed you down. America does not change everyone. Look at you. You arrived in this country, a spineless rat who would sell out his friends. That is what you will be when you die here. Consequences. You screwed me over. Now you're paying for it. Shame that will be the second last thing that goes into your head. Goodbye. You're the one who's going to learn a lesson. People aren't going to be happy if you kill me. Bless you, opponent. I've never been popular. I don't mean to start now. I should have put you out of misery a long time ago. Goodbye, Dimitri.
I killed Dimitri. It's over. He was on the platypus, the boat I arrived in Liberty City on. So it seems it ends where it began. I guess you did what you felt you had to do. No deal, no money, no hot tubs and models. But Dimitri will not bother you again. I will see you at the wedding, yes? Remember to wear a suit. I'll be there, Roman. Don't worry. Can I borrow your vehicle? And just who the fuck are you? Heaven. Where you want to go, Heaven? Hey, uh, Beatrix, I listened to your show on the old station um, before you got I want off. to go to Pyrite so Street. Nobody band. knows this city better than me. Don't hey, Phil, me. I understand why you made the decision you did, but what it's worth, I didn't trust that Dimitri neither. Yeah, well, I did what I had to do. Anyway, you and me can't talk no more. Jimmy's falling apart, the Pegarino they nothing no more. I'm out, man. Goodbye. From the spirit world, you are too loud. No, there are Don't this is it, me. compadre. Take We're here. Nico, I'm getting married tomorrow. Can you believe it? Make sure you get lots of beauty sleep. You need to be at the church at 10 a.m. though. Sure, Roman. I'll see you at the church. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for visiting Perseus. Hey, Kate. I took your advice. I cut my connections with that man. I'm really proud of you, Nico. It must have been really hard to turn down the money and stick to your principles. Well, it was the right thing to do. Are you coming to Roman's wedding? Can you pick me up and take me there? I'll be at my ma's. See you soon. any nuns that are hanging around the church as well. You know, it's not that weird to think that there might be some shooting at this wedding. Not only do you seem to attract ultraviolence wherever you go, but this was the church where we had my brother's funeral. You remember how that turned out. Yeah. How are you about that? Do you miss him? I'm okay. He's still in my thoughts, you know. He brought it on himself and he wasn't a good person. When I think about him, I just wish that he'd been happy in his life. What would have made him happy? It's hard to say, but maybe the right person? Yeah. Do you think that that is the answer for everyone then? Maybe. The right person can make your life wonderful in the same way that the wrong one can ruin it. The problem is that it's difficult to tell which one the man you are with is. Huh. I've had some trouble telling right and wrong apart before. After the war, I was involved in a life I felt was not for me. Those decisions became very difficult. You're talking about your criminal exploits as if they're a thing of the past. Well, maybe they are. I don't want to be involved with the men I have been involved with. I want to surround myself with good people, not bad ones. Recently, I have tied up a lot of loose ends in this city. My past does not haunt me in the way that it used to. I've tried to separate myself from it. And I'm ready to try to be good. Are you? Are you prepared to say goodbye to the fast cars, the drugs, the violence, the cheap women? Yes, I am. Do you think that the men you've been dealing with will let you walk off into the sunset? They will have to. I'm not a slave. 
It would be easier to be happy if I was with the right person, though. How do I know that you're right for me? How do I know that I won't get hurt? I'll look after you, okay? I promise I'll protect you. There's nothing else I can say. You don't need to say anything else. like a peacock. Look at you in those fancy clothes, Nico. Trying to upstage the groom on his wedding day? <laughs> Let's get me married. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may <laughs> kiss the bride. Mwah! <laughs> 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 Blame yourself. Of course I can. She's dead. Easy, easy, easy. Are you better, oh. man? Easy. Calm oh. down, man. Calm down. Oh. Nico, you have to get out of here. Yes, go on, man. Go. go on, man. We have to leave, man. Oh. Just leave. Get out of here. Don't go. Worry. We take care of this, man. Okay, Please. okay. Poor girl, she should never have got close to me. Wait for me. I'm on my way. What is Roman doing there? This is not the place for him. He backing up, Rasta. I and I both be seen. One love. We're going to Koresh Square. Nobody knows this city better than me.
This is as far as I can go, man. Alright, my brother, that blood clot been at the place. And I've been following him for a time, seeing? Oh. Me think him next up a Pegorino. We're gonna follow him there, seeing? Thank you, both of you. But I do not think this is the place for you, Roman. This is too dangerous. You are my cousin, Nico, and Kate died at my wedding. I'm helping you. Rot it, see him there? You have to stick to him, my brother. Fuck, we got a tail. Better lose this piece of shit on the way back to the peg. I don't wanna be late. He's been running around town like an endless chicken in a rasta, picking up shit in desperation. There's nowhere left for these guys to go. The whole city wants them dead now. Well, I guess I'll be doing the whole city a favor when I kill Pegorino then. The fool thought he could be a big player. This man will lead us there. We'll get him, cousin, I assure you. See him, Bridget. I not be after him. And in no way, boy, I'm gonna live another day upon this earth. See it? It's a dead man. Dead man. Fuck with the wrong rasta and take. This he will realize soon enough. As I did. I did. I, I do want to, but you know, I, I don't want to die. I have a wife to think about now. I've got nobody now. Not not true blood. You got iron Roman, see? Roman just killed Auntie. You don't mean what I'm saying. You go and mash up this rascal, mash him up good, see? Roman, that's what you're feeling, don't you? Sure, sure. That, that's what I'm feeling. Nico, I want to get this guy. I just don't think we want to take any unnecessary risks while we're doing that. Roman. The last thing I want is to lose you as well as Kate. I can't imagine how I'd feel if I lost you today. But Roman, I will not let this piece of shit go. He is taking us back to Jimmy Pegorino. Are you trying to kill me now? We cannot go much further. We must reach Pegorino soon. At least we're seeing some of Alderney. I don't normally come this side of the West River. See, Roman. No company is going either, Auntie. It's a different city from the rest of the city. True? I am not taking you on some tourist sightseeing tour. We're chasing a scumbag back to his boss. Then we're going to make that shit and pay for what he did to Kate. You understand? Sure, cousin, sure. Eyes to the front, mind on the job at hand, and all that shit. He's going to stop swinging on Nico. Me, if I'm a saucy that Pegorino, it might be hiding in the north. I'm out of somewhere. Okay, we're making some progress then. We will keep on this guy, and hopefully he won't fucking kill us or we'll crash before he leads us to Pegorino. I'm about ready to see that particular moron. Yeah, uh, me too. Me and Jacob are here to help you. 
What? You wanna get this Ross class going on here? Jacob, the best way to help me is to keep my cousin alive. I don't want to lose him as well. Also, figure out the next one. When this guy is dead, I'm not going to want to hang around long. You motherfucker! Don't think for a second that this was anyone's fault but your own! You could have worked with me and everything would have been gravy! I wanted out, and you killed someone I cared about. It's over for you now, Jimmy. You're a scumbag, Nico! Take that boy down! I ain't back! Shoot that fuck before he kills us all! I'm fucking with It doesn't work! Pegarino is mine! No one can keep me from Stay down! Don't try to make up! I'm going to stop it from killing Jimmy P! Stay away from me! Stay right there. Shut up. Pegorillo! You're mine! The time is off! You're not but a two-bit hood! Fuck you, Pegorino! I'm going to get you, Jimmy! Why didn't you just hit me instead? Not without me, you're not... Come on! Shit! Not thanks to you! You tried to ditch me? Me know you find out where I'm a man. 
better control this thing, you better drive it on me. Okay, Sky. I smell his blood. Now it is only a matter of chasing him down. Hey, Nico, you won't forget him now. There's no way he can go. Thank you both for helping me with this. It was not your fight. Nico, any fight of yours is mine as well. We are family. I got your back, my brother. This is something that I had to do. Kate has a message. Yeah, mommy, get your back. I told you to leave me alone. I have the orders here. Me! You're not looking so good there, Jimmy. Screw you. What the fuck did she ever do to you? I wanted you, you immigrant dipshit. Big talk. You want to know something funny? Not really. The commission? The old families? I know some of those guys. And they thought you were a fat fucking joke. Whatever. A joke. <laughs> Yeah. You did it. Really? I don't know. What did I do? But we're done. Now we can start making money. Freely. I suppose so. We won, man. We won!
this is what the dream feels like. This is the victory we longed for. <laughs>